What's up guys, I'm Justin Davis. Today is kind of a monumental video because we're doing something today that is land based from DJI. This is the RoboMaster S1. I have the original Phantom 4 Pro Obsidian version here, one of my favorite aerial robot releases that they have done in the past couple years. Um, this one is starting to get dated, but still this is the one I prefer even over the Mavic 2. It has a beautiful 4K video on here and flies extremely well. Not quite as portable, but in my opinion, produces better video. Uh, but it's not all about the video today. It, today it's about education, programming, getting our youth involved with robotics production and starting them on the ground base level with very nice components from DJI. Top shelf type of components that we can assemble play with, take apart, put back together, and do all kinds of really cool stuff. But today we're gonna take it out of the box. I'm gonna show you the components that they chose to put in this modular system, how we're gonna build it up. We're gonna do a series of videos on this one. We're gonna do a part one today. We're gonna show you what's in the box. And I'm gonna give you my opinion on your $500 that you might spend to get this one. Um, I, I think that the, the fun factor is gonna be super high with this one, and we're gonna have a lot of fun building it together putting it together and seeing what this little guy will actually do. So we're going to get really in depth on this robot and we're going to have some fun with it along the way as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with the first of a series of videos on RoboMaster S1. Here we go. Let's take a look inside the box. So this is the, the box you get in the mail and for around the $500 price point, you can own one of these. When it first came out, I was super excited about the S1 because I really, I really like the way it looks. I think they, they kind of created their own little character here with the four-wheel drive wheels. Those are articulating four-wheel drive wheels too. They counterclockwise rotate and clockwise rotate to give you sort of a tank-like motion to turn back and forth. It'll do a 360 in one spot. You also kind of have this chappy type antenna coming off the top of its head, which is very cute. And you have this airsoft gun here, your FPV camera and leads going into the modules there. And it does have uh, 1080p HD video coming back to your tablet or your phone. It's also compatible with the Android or iOS, which is nice. It has battle modes on here, like I mentioned before, and Python coding, which is really neat. I'm gonna spin the box around to the side here, show you the side of the box. It says right away that we have app support, obviously from DJI. We can go into uh, the solo mode battle and the laboratory mode in here. We have 46 programmable components in here. That's amazing that this box holds 46 programmable components. And I believe that includes the six programmable AI modules in here as well. So uh, very exciting that it does have some artificial intelligence inside this box, which is neat for the price. I honestly thought this was going to come in around the thousand dollar price point, but I think they were able to get this out there with the quality that's in this box for around $500 which makes it more accessible to schools and educational programs, which I think is super awesome uh, for STEM programs as well. And speaking of STEM programs, Scratch and Python coding. I wanted to learn Python for many years. A friend of mine works in the, uh, what we call the ethical hacker community. And this is really cool because I can go and learn this without paying for instructionals and taking classes, which is neat because you have this sort of building blocks type uh, support inside the apps to learn Python, which is really, really cool. So uh, a lot of the kids and, and youth of the future are going to be learning coding in this type of method. This is definitely the future. Uh, also four wheel drive, omnidirectional movement, like I showed you before, it has that articulating wheel movement here, kind of like the tank tread type movement. And we have intelligent sensing armor, which is really neat. So it's touch sensitive. Um, so when we touch it, it'll do different things that we program into it. Uh, also, the versus mode, which is awesome. It's a uh, battle mode. If you have a friend that has one of these, you guys can play games together and uh, maybe like some airsoft type tag. It will feel that you're getting hit by the airsoft pellet. That They also include some pellets inside the box for some of those battle modes. And it also has some hands-on learning, obviously. Over here, that's the last icon. But let's go ahead and jump inside the box now and let me show you how awesome some of these components are. I did sneak a peek inside this box without you guys. I am sorry about that, but I couldn't wait. Um, the first thing that we see here that I got really excited about was the motors. And I'm going to show you up close and personal these motors coming up in this review. Um, we're going to talk about 
my favorite part about this robot is that they incorporated these plug and play wires with the ESCs built into the motors and I've seen a lot of motors in my time but these are really nice quality motors and I think it's really really cool that they incorporated ESCs into the motor. That is a super progressive design. Um, the only bad thing about this is that if the ESC goes bad of course you're going to have to buy a motor and the ESC together to replace one of these motors but uh, as far as progression goes this is a really interesting concept that I have never seen before so I've uh, pretty much seen it all on the channel but this is really cool. You get four of these motors in the box and this is your instruction manuals in here. This little guy right here has your instruction manuals. Underneath here we have our articulating wheels. These are the exterior hubs right here. We get four of these and we get some inside hubs as well. Those are the smaller ones. We also get our main board controller here. It has different CAN bus in here and I'll explain those a little bit later in the review. So inside here and our hardware. We have all of our hardware in here. Just open this up. There's a little tiny screwdriver in here. Some grommets and various different sizes of screws. That's really nice. I love this little box. I might have to use this um, for some of my drone stuff. Really nice box. And this looks like the front of the unit. I'm going to set all this stuff out for you, but we're just going to go through this a little bit. These are the pegs that are going to go inside the wheel hubs to make them articulate back and forth. Little peg rollers. Here are some more hubs. These are four hubs here and there's a QR code on there as well. Some painter's tape for maybe making some paths on the ground for the robot to follow. And we have another part in here. Let's just open this up. Check this out. This also has a QR code on it. So it's really cool that this has sort of step-by-step -step QR codes on here for people to follow along with. Just another part that I'm not quite sure of yet. Not sure what this goes to, but we'll keep that together with this bag so that we don't lose the instructions. This one also has a QR code on it as well. And this looks like our safety glasses. That's really cool that they gave us safety glasses. Actually, this is probably the nicest pair of safety glasses I own. My other half happens to be an optometrist, so she's always telling me to wear safety glasses. Super important with this, these types of um, plastic components that could break. These look like, wow, these are really tiny pellets. This is our bottle of airsoft pellets right here. Uh, we're going to probably put these in water and they will expand. These are the expanding pellets. So um, kind of neat. They gave us way more pellets than you normally get in that size container. Here it looks like we have some grease for our different moving parts. And let's see if this one has a QR code as well. This is some kind of base probably the rotational part for the head and we have more rubber grommets in here some spacers we have four of those and we have a screwdriver base another part with a QR code on here all four motors we have a battery as well over there on the charger and that one's charging up for us we have four of these which look like mounts for the wheels we'll find out about these parts coming up our four of those and let's go ahead and remove this base this top plate here see what's on the bottom now we're getting to the good stuff you guys this is pretty cool right here this looks like the main body of the robot and there's some kind of dust on the parts in here but it's, i don't believe it's dust i think it's cardboard from what it's packaged in really really cool and the, the best thing about this stuff is that it's not going to get broken to pieces likely like some of our drones can from falling hundreds of feet in the air to the ground. This little guy stays on the ground. It looks like this piece might open up. There is a couple pieces on the front and there's a power cord inside here. And this is really neat. This is one of my favorite parts of this whole robot. These are giant articulating motors for the top looks like a giant gimbal you see how this rotates this axis and up and down here that has to be for the head that's really really cool and we will be assembling that coming up that is just really neat also another brace another type of brace in here we have quite a bit of parts to build up here you guys 
another base mount and our airsoft gun how cool is this guy check this out plugs in with one single wire right here we have a fan in the very top of it it looks like or this it might be the loader that is just too cool another qr code here they're being consistent with their qr codes which i really really like and one of my favorite parts also the little hd fpv camera with its own little qr code so really really well documented um, so far more silica gel these might be the touch sensors and LED. this looks like the leds also with qr codes on the side here we'll set those to the side and what else do we have in here this is this box is super deep with stuff this has some kind of lever here with a spring on it we'll find out what that is coming up it's locked in the locked position and this part that slams on this might be some kind of pellet loader we'll find out yeah there's a trap door right there that's really neat i'm so obsessed with building things another qr code here and it looks like we have looks what looks like a bunch of wires inside this package um, these are probably our module wire connectors our extra wires in here and it's so cool that things just kind of plug in and you don't have to do any soldering on this robot i've had robots in the past come to me that were five or six hundred parts deep and they didn't have any connectors like this that we could just plug in they all every single connector had to be soldered up so this looks like some type of motion sensor on the front here we'll see again what that part is coming up but isn't this the coolest unboxing ever and another part with a qr code on here as well where is it at did you not include it dji on this one this is the one part that we don't have a qr code on the bag so now this one has to be maybe there's one on the part itself nope and these look like exterior sidewalls these two parts right here they all have that kind of cool frosted smoke look on the plastic which is kind of neat and the last part down here is inside this bag right here and this looks like maybe the brain of the whole operation the coolest little part right here with our communication antennas look at that and there's the qr code there with the ssid wi-fi information the passcode um, is going to be one two three four one two three four to be able to log into that that's really neat there's a trap door here for looks like usb usb c on the back end right there to plug into or updates but you should be able to do wireless updates with this module this is really cool and we also have the battery charger for this robot there is your ac port right here over here we have this little lever that lifts up to reveal the charge port right here and we have the battery this also has a smart light led indicator on it super cool and the teeth right here that plug into the unit and let's look and see what size this lithium ion battery is it's a rechargeable lithium ion and it's a 2400 milliamp rechargeable lithium ion battery all right guys there are all the parts for the robomaster s1 super excited i i feel like bill nye the science guy when it comes to stuff like this it, 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 it totally um, freaks me out and gets me super excited for the tech side of this now one thing that i didn't show you guys inside this instruction manual box it has a quick start guide in here and this is the quick start guide right here you also get some flash cards in here for your robot to see from the fpv camera it looks like numbers here one two three four five so we can maybe make some targets for it this is a question mark looks like an upside down space invader who knows what that one is maybe it's a stop sign or whatever you want to program it to and some other type of little types of cards that have some shears in here so we can set up some type of maybe little roadmaps or something there's qr codes on each one of these so um, very well documented i have to say out of the box so it looks like we're not going to be alone in this process um, it's also inside the quick start guide right here i have to show you it shows you all the parts the qr codes to 
the app, the video tutorials as well that DJI is going to do. And we have an installation guide for all the parts, the blown out schematic right here. And step by step, starting out with the hubs. And we're going to grease the hubs first, it looks like, on these different various points so that they have proper cut so that they move properly when we do assemble them. Um, and it shows how the hubs go together step by step in here. It looks really, really simple. They did do a nice job of keeping things simple for this installation. And it's also nice that it's not just a PDF on the internet that we have to download. We actually have an instruction manual for assembly right here in our hands, which is super nice. There is no text for installing these parts together. So along the way, if there's anything in here that is confusing. I'm going to let you guys know right here in the build video coming up. But it looks like quite a few steps to get our robot assembled. But I think we can do it in less than a couple hours. We'll have to see. But we'll take our time in the installation and make sure we do it right. Super cool that everything is inside this manual. Uh, very nice from DJI. So I think we're to the point now where you guys have seen all the parts. It looks like a crazy um, kind of uh, maybe a little bit intimidating amount of parts on the bench here, but I think once we start building up on this frame from the ground up, starting out with the wheels and assembling those to the side, getting the motors and ESCs built up on there, and finally coming all the way to the top of the robot to assembling the head and the intelligent control module there and the Wi-Fi unit, I think we're going to have a lot of fun from the ground up. So let's go ahead. Uh, Let's end this video for now, and I appreciate you guys watching. This looks like a ton of fun, and I'm about to geek out hardcore. But thanks again for hanging out with me, you guys, and checking out the RoboMaster S1. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one, so uh, please do subscribe on the channel and stay tuned. If you'd like to support me on my Patreon, that would be awesome, too. Double thumbs up for my Patreon supporters. I really appreciate it. Uh, and I'll keep bringing you guys these tech videos in the future as well. So thanks again, guys. I'm Justin Davis. Take care. And I'll see you on the next one.